What up, everybody? I hope you can hear my voice. Peace, peace, peace. I'm excited today because I wanted to show you guys a simple, simple trick. You have logic, but if even if you don't have logic, kind of use this concept as far as breaking down drum loops and creating your own drum pack. Take like a drum break and then just chop up all the samples and just create your own drum pack. So let's get into it. Here is a drum loop from my latest kit at the time of this broadcast from Filt Loops Volume 6. It also has drum loops in it. It's not just road samples, but it's drum loops. And this is the one I'm going to chop up. Yeah. So we're going to take that, chop that up, and see what we can do with it. First thing I'm going to do is drag this over to Quick Sampler. Automatically, it chops it up for you. But what we want to do is decrease the sensitivity. So we'll have just... I think that's cool. All right, so now I want to condense what all is going to be in my drum kit. This is so easy, it's crazy. So I'm kind of adjusting these endpoints because I don't want too many hits. Just like maybe about that much. Okay, I'm going to add another chop in there. All right, cool. And let me go ahead and get that a little closer. All right, cool. All right, cool. So now that I have the selection that I want, all I have to do is move my cursor down to where it highlights, and I'm gonna right click on it, and then go ahead and hit Create Drum Machine Designer Track. So automatically, it puts this into a drum kit, which means that I can control all these sounds if I want to and just adjust them however you want, you know. I could change the pitch and all that stuff. It makes it so easy, man. You can adjust anything, it's crazy. All right, cool. And I might even change the pitch of the snare. Ooh, okay. I might use the snap too. All right, let's do that. And then we will create our own loop. All right, so we just recorded that. There you go. <laughs> you know, from a drum break, and then we created it into our own thing. So, once again, let me play the original drum loop, which was this one. So, and then whatever drum loop you decide to use, that's up to you, you know. This just happens to be from Field Loops Volume 6. So, you know, there you have it. Whenever you come across drum loops and you just want to create your own thing from it, but you like the sounds from the loop, but you want them separated, that's an easy way to do it. So, there you have it. Just wanted to show that quick tip. 